Vinland Saga, Season 2, Episode 3. This guy's in danger. They just abducted him from his trip home. And he was never seen again. Episode 3, Snake. Another day in Vinland Saga. Wow, they, that escalated. <laughs> Casually laughing at their deaths. Reminds me of the video with the, the kangaroos taking it too seriously. Like, one kangaroo kills another kangaroo. You guys know what I'm talking about? Unknown unknowns. Most insidious of unknowns. Hmm. He's playing right into their trap. Are they actually just looking for a good time? Still can't take out his sword, the mighty warrior. I've had my share, fair share of people like this recently. You wonder if their drinking isn't, on some level, subconscious or conscious, a desire to have an excuse to let out their rage at whatever is going on in their lives. Some people have short fuses. I also get the impression, maybe this is obvious, that it's the people with the biggest chips on their shoulders, people who are the most dis discontent, dissatisfied with their lot. But, you know, they say, F around and find out, and I think he's about to find out. He's also wasted. Hmm. While they're, you know. There it is. He found out. Oh, he <laughs> spiraled downward into patheticness real fast. Sad. Well, you said it. This is still very patronizing. He's 17. I don't know, maybe he can have a cool arc. He's a kid, starting at the bottom. Oh, that got dark. These are not your friends. Not one friend among this whole group. I mean, it seems like they just really resent him. Oh, is it gonna be... Better not pick Ask uh, Thorfinn. It's a death sentence. Oh, you messed up. They don't know. Oh, they don't know. Oh, this is gonna unleash hell. God bless. Good luck. It's not going to go the way that you hope. I already have pre-event sympathy for Thorfinn, who's just trying to keep his head down. <sighs> Thanks for that close-up. It's a nightmare. <laughs> If you only knew. Probably for the best. He's actively working through all this stuff. Something interesting for me about that is that most of the time in anime, you see the dream. In this case, we really don't need to. If you watch season one, it's totally unnecessary. You, you just know. Is that her? Oh, we're talking now. First contact. <laughs> Going a little too far, saying a lot. And we got a compliment in the first interaction? Damn, this is going well. That answers my question from last time. I thought so too. Yeah, I don't think she should be washing her face here. Got it. Oh, I don't like it. We got logs to chop. This episode is denying me of my log chopping needs. <laughs> Wise deduction, Ainer. Ainer? Ainer? Well, that's a good point. Whatever happens today, it's a good day. Yeah, thought so. It's not gonna go how you think. This is not the day. Oh, but they really, I mean, they can't win. 
It's the master's son. Oh, thanks. I wonder how Thorfinn responds. Uh, Thorfinn's not going to tolerate it. No way. Not after all he's been through, and not after that dream. This is bold of them now, isn't this the master's decision? <laughs> Thorfinn just totally unmoved. He's so above it. Damn, they really got his number, psychologically. At least he got his sword out of his sheath this time. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Telling Thorfinn to run. Oh, my sweet, sweet. Aner. Brave of him, though. Super brave, just going in. For Thorfinn. This guy doesn't even want to do it. His heart isn't in it. Thorfinn just... Yeah, mildly annoyed. Just mildly irritated. Oh, interesting. Yeah, is this, is this rock bottom? Is this it? Have we gone all the way down yet? Like I've said, it's totally up to him. He could just annihilate this whole squad. Got locks to cut. Yeah, it almost, I don't know, just saying that takes some of the wind out of their sails. It's so bizarre. I don't know about that. Do you? Yeah, he knows he used to sell it himself. Thorfinn has experienced something more terrifying than death. Not even a flinch. He kind of needs him to be afraid. Thorfinn, by not being afraid, is a threat to him. At this point, his goal is to make Thorfinn afraid, not to kill him. I also feel like this is a metaphorical death for Thorfinn. So far this season, I've been convinced that this is going to be Thorfinn's rebirth, if only the beginning of it. The potential is exciting. And while it's not great for him right now, as a viewer, as an outsider, I'm optimistic. It's cycles of death and rebirth. The smiling kid from season one from the beginning is gone, replaced by revenge Thorfinn. That Thorfinn now is also dead. Best case scenario, what replaces that is someone more virtuous than revenge Thorfinn, but more knowledgeable, more experienced, more worldly than naive child Thorfinn, and so on and so forth in a cycle. What is this guy going to stumble into it? And immediately knew something was amiss. It's pretty deep cuts there. You just don't have the, the heart for this life. Not for a long time, at least. I understand why you'd feel that way. Yeah, he's getting angry. He got Mike Tyson. Whoops. That snake. Here I thought they were the snakes. That's a whipping. That's a paddling. They all have foxhound names. Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. <laughs> Thorfinn just totally unmoved still. Whatever happens. See, what had happened was... The fox is a jerk. Tell me about it. You don't say. Definitely for Thorfinn. One of the things I love about Vinland Saga, or I think is a stroke of genius, is they gave us the ultimate right in the beginning. They showed us the pinnacle, and that was Thor's. What Thorfinn didn't see is everything it took for Thor's to get there. Thor's also went through hell and back, you know? He's, his life was full of carnage and death. He did terrible things. Thorfinn saw the glory without the, the journey, but we have a target. The target's the same from the very beginning. It's the glory we saw in season one, 
in the first couple episodes of the show. Thorfinn invited the journey in a sense by having this wanderlust, wanting adventure, wanting to be a great warrior like his father. Classic case of be careful what you wish for. But that being said, he's now on that journey. And how amazing is it going to be when he inevitably reaches the pinnacle like Thor's did? This show is has proven masterful about allowing people to have their full arcs culminating in the most glorious way. We've had two. We've had Thor's and we've had Asclad being the best examples, I think. That path exists for Thorfinn as well. This is not it. It's better. He's, he refuses to fight, but it's not quite backed up by the right principles. It's more of a concession of defeat in life, you know, just wanting to die. It's total nihilism. Thor's throwing down his sword wasn't nihilistic at all. It was purposeful. It was principled. What's going to happen for Thorfinn, I predict, is he's going to find his purpose and he's going to pick up the sword again. But it will be for something greater than he's picked up the sword for in the past. It's not going to be just revenge. And he'll fight and fight and it'll get to a point where he too probably throws down his sword. But he will throw down his sword in a way that shows the full completion of his character, rising to the level of and perhaps even surpassing his father, if only in terms of what he's able to accomplish. The way I look at it, the completion of someone's arc cannot be measured. There's no size to it. So you complete your arc in a meaningful way that is as significant as anything else. Thor's died saving his son and he died as the most whole human being he could be. And so in that way, Thorfinn can't really surpass him. He can only equal it. Just as Asclad reached his, the way in which he might be able to surpass Thor's is in terms of the consequences of his actions. It's been well established that this story exists on a world stage. There are empires at stake and by extension hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of people's lives. Thorfinn could significantly affect the outcome of the history of the world depending on circumstance and how able he is to rise to that challenge and to find the motivation and the reason to keep living. I know that Thorfinn will do a lot for Aenor. My hope is that Aenor also can do a lot for Thorfinn because he still has that little bit of that innocence, seemingly a very good heart and head on his shoulders.